the University of Arizona, if you have an idea and you're passionate about something, there are support systems to help you make it happen. My freshman year, I was living in the Posado San Pedro Residence Hall, and our faculty fellows sent around an email inviting us to come to a meeting about solar energy. I went to that meeting, and there I met Dr. John Pollard. The faculty fellows are professors who are assigned to each hall to act as mentors and advisors for the students, and he said, I think we should have photovoltaic panels on a U of A residence hall because we're a research institution and also we live in Arizona which should make us solar leaders. He motivated us to take the project on as our own. The next thing I knew I was leading the group. The first year we were really trying to figure out how to get things done. No student group had ever attempted this before. We had to educate ourselves, even installing solar panels on a local school, which was really fun. It was harder than it looks. The second year, we began to look into the nuts and bolts of getting photovoltaic actually on the roof. We had to network and create strong relationships with the student community, UVA staff, and also with partners in the greater Tucson community. The Metropolitan Energy Commission gave us funding, and so did the Student Services Fee Board, which is student money that's allocated by students. I think something that attracted students to Solar Cats is we do so many educational projects on campus. We also receive money from a new funding source at the U of A called the Green Fund. Once we had the funding in place, we installed 44 panels they didn't let us install on the Posado San Pedro dorm, but we supervised. They did a pretty good job. One of the most interesting parts of the project is that it's not just to save energy, but to create a hands-on research lab. There's a monitoring system in the residence hall that tracks energy output over time. The estimated annual production will be 20,000 kilowatt hours and the greenhouse gas reduction will be about 14 metric tons per year. That's a lot. <laughs> I can come back years from now and look on the roof and see that I was part of that initial movement where the University of Arizona made a commitment to green buildings and a green environment.